Didik TV KPM Our first topic would be dictionary to the rescue. Oh. So you might wonder, why dictionary? So before we go any further, let us just review SPM Paper 1, okay. Reading and Use of English. So as you could see here, there are five parts in total. So for part one, there's a total of eight questions and it also carries eight marks. Next, for part two, there's a total number of 10 questions and it carries 10 marks. For part three, there's a total question of eight and eight marks as well. Meanwhile, for part four, we have six questions and six marks. And then finally, we have part five, eight questions, eight marks. So that brings up a total of 40 questions for paper one and a total of 40 marks for paper one. Mm, okay. Okay, so now we are going to look closer at each of the part. So this is part one. Okay, for part one, it's what we call shorter text. As you could see over on the left hand side, there would be two questions over there, mm -hmm. and there would be several types of short uh, text. Okay, so for example, the first one is a notice, and the second one is a voucher. Meanwhile, the next part would be uh, attention to all students, so it's a notice as well. And then towards, uh, for number six, it's a dialogue. Okay, so okay. there's a variety of text types for part one. Mm. And it's a multiple choice question whereby students, sorry, will, whereby pupils would have to choose A, B or C as the answer. Okay, okay that's for part one. Understood. Okay, next would be part two. This part is called the closed passage. So as you could see over on the left hand side, there's a text and there's several blanked parts. Mm. Okay, so the pupil's task is for them to identify the suitable words to be filled in the blanks. And there's ah, a total of okay. 10 blanks that's, that we could see over there. Okay, so that's part two. This is part three. For part three, it's what we call longer text. As you could see, it's quite long compared to the first part. Mm. And then they would have eight comprehension questions. It's also a multiple choice question whereby they would have to choose the answers between A, B, C or D. This part is also known as the reading comprehension. Okay, meanwhile, this one, this is part four. We call it the gap text. So as you could see in the text, there are several gaps, those little boxes yes. over there. Yeah. So the pupil's task would be for them to select the sentences over on the right-hand side and to fit it into the gaps. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, and it's a total of six questions. Next, for part five, um, there's two sections to this part. The first part would be, there would be statements, and it's the pupil's task to match the statements with the suitable paragraph over on the left-hand side. All Meanwhile, right. for the second part, as you could see, there's a few sentences with blanked parts. Yeah. So pupils, for each of the sentence, they would have to identify one word from the text to be um, to be put in the blanks. Oh, all right. Understood. Okay. So that's the whole of paper one, uh, briefly. Okay. As you could see, there's lots of words. Yes, there's a lot of words here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's why, hence, it brings us to the topic of dictionary. Okay. Okay. Why do I say so? So let's have a go. Okay, we have this extract over here. Can I get somebody to read this, please? Yes, teacher. Okay, Alicia, why don't you read the text? When her husband passed away, Sarah inherited the Winchester Gun and Rifle Company, which had made the Winchester family very wealthy. Okay, thank you, Alicia. Now I have this question over here. What do you do when you find words which are not familiar? So in the text, the yellowed word inherited, there might be some people who wouldn't know what it means. Mm. 
Okay, so guys, what do you do when you find uh, a word that you do not know? Anyone? I usually refer the meaning of the word in the dictionary. In the dictionary. Okay then, so why don't the four of you try to find the meaning of the word inherited in the dictionary? Oh, okay. Do all of you have your dictionaries ready? Yes, they do. Wow, look at that. I didn't bring my dictionary. <laughs> but teacher, I usually use the internet. I usually just Google the image or Google the meaning of the word. I think that is another possibility. Is that? Is yeah, that, definitely. Yeah. Let's say if you don't have a physical dictionary with you, yeah. you definitely can look it up in the internet or okay. even online dictionaries. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. okay, so could anyone tell me what's the meaning of inherited? All right, who has yes, the meaning? Teacher. Okay, go ahead. Ah, Arif, okay. So, inherited is a past time form for inherit. That mm -hmm. means to receive property, money from somebody who has died. I see. Okay, so Arif, can you share with us how do you look up the word in the dictionary, the word inherited? So, firstly, I find the section for letter, letter I. Mm -hmm. And then I find, uh, I search for I am. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, I found the inherit word. I see. So you go according yes. to the alphabet, right? Starting yes. with the letter I and then I am because it's inherited. Okay, thank you for sharing with us, Arif. Okay, so people, um, this is the meaning of inherited. Received from someone who has died. So it could be inherited money or inherited property or inherited wealth. So over at the bottom, we have the example of how the word inherited is used in a sentence. Mm. So after his parents died, he inherited three houses. So that's how you use it. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, what sure. if we don't have a dictionary around? How can we find the meaning of, of the word? Ah, that's a very good question because you know, in exams or in certain conditions, mm. we don't have the dictionary. Yes. We may not even have our gadgets to exactly. look up what the word means. Okay, so now everybody, what we can do is for us to infer the meaning from context. Ooh. What do I mean by that? We can make an intelligent guess of what the word means. Okay, for example, let's just have a look over here. Okay. Okay, we have the word inherited, right? So we refer to the sentence before it, which is when her husband passed away. So what does it mean? It means that Sarah's husband died. And then we look at the sentence after inherited, the Winchester Gun and Rifle Company, which had made the Winchester family very wealthy. So over here, we know that somehow it involves money and yeah. maybe property because there's wealth. So we connect the two ideas. Somebody oh. has died and then it involves money and wealth. So inherited may mean that Sarah gets a lot of money. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay, so that's so, how you do it. All right. Thank you very much, teacher, for sharing on, on that On in case we don't have a dictionary around. <laughs> Didik TV KPM